Hello, Gamer Gnome is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob with the string fruit, awaken it, and reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. Where the echo slam on the dancing forward, there's your slam! Did you know that the string fruit user in One Piece anime is Don Quixote do Flamingo? Also, buying this fruit in this game will cost you 1.5 million bellies or 1.8k Robux if you buy it permanently. This fruit has 5 skills and you can awaken it in the second scene. So what are we waiting for? Let's start grinding. So for our first skill, the Rainbow String, this skill can damage multiple enemies. And if you're gonna ask me if a skill can damage multiple targets at an early stage, grinding will be easier. Okay, so our target here is level 15. Next up, the Fountain City. Here we have three steps to memorize. First, lure a galley pirate. There you go. Number two, use your combat M1 to inflict damage. As you can see, we are not being damaged. There you go. Okay, so number three, Defeat this using your Z skill, there you go, to gain lots of levels and mastery. This strategy only works at a low level so make sure to take advantage. You will unlock two skills. First up is the multi-string attack, I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. And the other skill is the string path. I'm gonna show it to you. Looks like Spider-Man, right? Anyway, at level 60, we will head now to the desert. Our first target is the Desert Bandits. Again guys, high ground is our friend, yes. You can always go here and damage them without getting damage. Okay, target here is level 75. Next stop, Desert Officers. Having two skills now, the Z and the X skill. Grinding will be a lot faster. Again, the X skill is also multi-target. And your target level here is level 90. For the stats, I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. Melee defense 30, blocks fruits 210. Next up is the Frozen Village. Don't forget to buy the Sky Jump for 10k, Enhancement for 25k, and Flash Step for 100k. Back to grinding, our target, Snow Bandits. Guys, again, high ground is our friend here. There you go, as you can see. They cannot damage us here. Target level 105. Next up, the Yeti. Starting from this boss, we're gonna do Server Hub, okay? We are leaving this area at level 130. And after that, next stop, the Marine Fortress. Buy the Black Cape in this tower for 50,000 bellies. This will really help you grind fast. Next target is the Vice Admiral. Again, server hop. Our strategy is D to D or dash to dodge. So guys, while your skills are on cooldown, dash and then attack. We will unlock our fourth skill, the Overheated Sniper. While grinding here, there you go. This one's really good. When we will leave this area at level 220. For the stats, I'm gonna show it to you. Mill defense 100, blocks fruits 460. Next up, the prison. First target is the warden. There you go, guys. Let's check that out. Is that superhuman? And also, the user is Buddha Awakened. The question is, why is he here? <laughs> Anyway, wall strat is our technique for all bosses. Yes, starting from Warden to Chief Warden and Swan. Okay, again, wall strat. Everyone knows that. We're gonna do that until you reach level 350. Next up, guys, is the Magma Village. So here, we're gonna defeat the boss only, the Magma Admiral. We're gonna server hop again until 425. So as you can see, guys, in the first C, it's almost always server hop. For the stats after this, 150 mil defense, blocks fruits 973. Moving to the next island, the underwater city. Target is the Fishman Lord. Guys, another wall strat. Again, I'm choosing the easiest way to defeat these dudes. So there you go. Target level here is level 500. After that, Skylands, Upper Sky, and the target is the Whisper. So guys, just stay on this rock. No damage will be inflicted. Check this out. There you go. After that, it's your turn. Again, repeat and repeat, okay? Also, if you follow our guide, you will be unlocking the final skill, the ultimate thread. Not that one. This one. There you go. So guys, we've unlocked all the skills. And at level 625, we will now then head to the Fountain City. 
and our target will be the guy pirates remember them but now you only need two skills to defeat them there you go so again one v skill and c skill is enough easy grinding until you reach level 775 so here are our stats melee defense 350 blocks fruits 1625 make sure to do the prison quest after that head to the middle town Look for Mr. Captain, oh sorry, experienced captain, and head to the second sea. Now we are ready to awaken our string fruit. And to awaken it, you need to head to the hot and cold. There you go, straight to the laboratory, and make sure to bring your friend. Yes, I am being carried by my friend here. Also, you need 17,300 fragments to fully awaken this fruit. Okay, so now let's showcase the awakened skills with swan pirates for the v skill guys it is now called heavenly punishment it looks like this one now there you go hmm, it looks cool right for the x skill the silk prison let's use it now there you go okay for the z skill is a thermal lacerate i mean laceration <laughs> and finally the c skill the eternal white here it is okay guys to be honest these skills are op in grinding we're gonna leave this area at level 925 oh i almost forgot the f skill this one the god's highway now we are heading towards the green zone again at 925 our target is fajita or fujitora the gravity fruit user we're gonna serve her up here okay again it's very easy to feed because at this level our fruit is too OP. Yes, it's so strong. Target level here is level 1000. Okay, so once you reach that level, let's check our stats. 425 mil defense, blocks fruits 2150. At level 1000, we are heading towards the snow mountains. Target snow troopers. Check it out, guys. Very easy grinding until 1150. Our damage is really high because let's check our stats. We already reached max blast fruits. Next stat that we'll focus on is defense. Don't worry about the melee stat, that is enough. Okay, so next island is the hot and cold. This is my favorite island in the second sea because Smoke Admiral, our target, is very easy to defeat. We're gonna time it. You guys are ready. Let's go. Check that out. Z skill, V skill. Only two skills, almost half HP. X skill. And one C skill is almost enough to burst this enemy. There you go. Check that out. Less than one fourth HP. Oh, I think it was cancelled. One Z and X skill. Boom. Guys, the only problem here is the cooldown. It's really slow for C and V skill. So that is the reason why it took us, I think, 30 plus seconds to finish this boss. Guys, remember 31 seconds, but we are using string fruit only. Okay, what if you use combat for additional damage, right? Okay, so server up here until level 1, 250. And that's it. We're moving on to the cursed ship. For the technic here, wall strat, the ship deckhand. So as you can see, there's a wall here. You can use your skills. Two skills is enough to burst this mobs. There you go. So we are grinding here until you reach level 1350. And after that, ice cast. First target, the Arctic Warriors. You need three skills to burst them. Not bad to be honest, but you only need to level up 50 times here. Meaning at level 1400, you can start defeating the boss in this island, the Awakened Ice Admiral. Again, Wall Strat is our technique. Check this out. You can use your Z skill. There you go. Your V skill, your X skill, and your C skill to damage him. So guys, no problems here. There you go. So you're gonna level up here 75 times, which means at level 1475, we will move on to the Forgotten Island and you will get your final 25 levels here. And for your target, the Tide Keeper. Guys, uh, I think he's kinda hard to defeat. If you want, you can just stay with the Awakened Ice Admiral. But if you want more experience, focus here, okay? So he has this annoying sea beast. There you go. Even if you defeat him, it's still there. So let's kill this sea beast. Don't worry guys, compared to the usual sea beast that you see in the sea, this one is really weak. Check that out guys. Z skill, V skill. 
we're gonna use maybe our X skill and C skill. Guys, I just wanna defeat this because this one is really annoying. <laughs> there you go. Okay, guys. So, we're gonna leave this area at level 1,500. Make sure to finish the Coliseum quest. After that, head to the green zone. And finally, we're gonna talk to Mr. Captain and he will then send us to the third sea. Okay, so for our first target, we got the Pirate Millionaires. Guys, if your fruit is not elemental, make sure to lure them without hitting them. I'm gonna show it to you. Just go near them. They will chase you guys. And once they're stacked up together, use your skills. V, X, C, and Z is enough to burst them. There you go, guys. Very easy. You're gonna do this until 1675. Here are your stats. Max Black Fruits, Defense, 2075. 550 milli. Next up, the Hydra Island. Guys, did you miss the wall strat? Don't worry. Our next target, the Island Empress, will experience that. Okay, so you're just gonna lure her here. And then again, you're gonna use all your skills to damage her. There you go. V, Z, C, and X skill. Okay? There's also a high chance that you'll get the Serpent Bow. Or I'm just lucky. You're gonna do this until 1750. Okay, next up, the Great Tree. Our target here is the Kilo Admiral. Guys, as long as you're in a high ground, he cannot damage you. Good thing that the String Fruit has lots of long-range attacks. Or in short, we will really destroy this boss. <laughs> okay, we're almost there, guys. At level 1800, we will now go to the next island. Oh, let's check our stats first. Blast Fruits max, Defense max. Now, all stats will go to melee. Next up is a Turtle Island, and our only target is the Fishman Captain. So you need one full set of skills to defeat them, meaning you are gonna use your V, Z, X, and C skill to defeat one set, okay? Guys, can you believe it? After this, last two islands. So guys, at level 1875, we will leave this area and we will now head to the Haunted Castle. Take note that our only target here are the Reborn Skeletons. Why? Because they're easy to defeat, they're near the quest giver, and I think that is enough reason why to just grind here. There you go. But if you're grinding bones, I don't suggest defeating these mobs because they give out less bones, according to some of the comments from my previous videos. Oh guys, one more thing while grinding here. I am proud to announce that we've reached 600, yes, 600 mastery on the string fruit. Check that out. Lots of titles. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna leave this area at level 2075. And next up, final island, the Sea of Treats. So first, the Peanut Scouts. Guys, I'm gonna show it to you how to defeat them easily. There you go, 1x skill. Okay, 1z skill. 1c skill. And defeat them with V skill. Okay, so that is enough. You're gonna keep grinding here until you reach level 2200. There you go. So after that, next up, the Cake Island. Our target here is the Cookie Crafter. There you go, guys. These mobs are very easy to defeat, easier compared to the Peanut Scouts. They don't have long range attacks, which means they cannot damage you as long as you maintain distance. There you go. But, guys, uh, Peanut Scouts spawn faster so if you wanna like grind faster stay there but this is more beneficial because again if you wanna summon the Doe King right okay so at level 2300 we are going to head to the chocolate land and defeat Coco Warriors so guys we're gonna reach max level with this mobs 2400 so guys good luck also you can get uh, the refined Coco here and that is also a requirement in order to summon the Doking, just in case you want to get mirror fractals. Okay, so guys, there you go. We're gonna reach max level here, and the max level is 2400. So, all in all, the String Fruit is a good fruit for me. I really enjoyed using the skills, awakening it. Final stats max melee defense and blocks fruits. So, guys, any requests, just comment it on the comment section. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. So again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out!